Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to construct this tangent line, or this line and circle that are tangent to each other. And learn a little about tan the tangent constraint. So to do that today, we're going to go ahead and create a new sketch on our front plane. So we're going to create a sketch on our front plane. I'm going to tap the letter N on the keyboard and the letter P on the keyboard to view normal and to hide our planes. And we'll go ahead and begin by creating a circle that is the whatever diameter we're looking for. A circle will be two inches in diameter. You'll see that since we started at the origin, that circle is automatically fully constrained. It has a center point that's fully constrained and coincident with the origin. And since we added a dimension, um, that is two inches in diameter, so it can't do anything. Now we're going to go ahead and get our line tool, and we're going to draw a line. And we're going to just draw that somewhere out in space where we don't see any yellow um, restrictions. Let's tap the escape key to get out of my line tool. I have yet to put a dimension on here, so might as well do that now. I'll put the Take the dimension tool, I can tap the D key on the keyboard and add that value as I like. And then we're going to add a point at the midpoint. Right, so I'm going to find the middle of this line. And now we have a line that has a midpoint that's visible. What I want to do is I want to make this line tangent to this circle. So if you think about a wheel rolling across the ground, um, then that wheel could be thought of as being tangent. A ball rolling on the ground is tangent. It's touching at one and only one point. So the tool to do that is well, tangent. And the shortcut for it is T. And, it's, um, and it will make this line touch this arc, this arc or circle at just one point. Click it release, and you can see right now the line is turned black. The endpoints aren't because the endpoints can move up and down, but the line and extended to infinity in both directions, top up and down, can only touch that circle at exactly one point. If I zoom in close enough, if you could zoom in close enough, you'd only see that it was touching at one point, though. Since the line has thickness, it'll always look like it's a little bit more than that. All right. To get this thing to line up the way we want it to, to get it fully constrained so it can't slide up and down, we have to have a point that locks it up and down. So that's why, where this uh, midpoint came in. So I'm just going to drag that midpoint down until it lines up with the origin. And when we let go, you see everything turns black. It's fully constrained. And there you have it. A uh, little side note. If you want to do any measuring on, on the geometry you created, there's some measurement tools down on the bottom. You can see that the area of the circle is 3.142 inches. Give you a heads up, see if you can think about the significance of that. There's, it's kind of neat. Um, the line length here, the line length here, you'll see, no big surprise, it's three inches. Uh, and there's some other tools you can check out later. So good luck, have fun, and as always, keep being awesome.